It might look like Herbert Temple is enjoying a nice walk by his home in Blaketown. And he is. He's also in a clinic at the Cardiac Care Program at the Health Sciences Center in St. John's. A virtual clinic made possible by a remote cardiac device monitoring program. Two years ago, at 67, Herbert had a cardioverter defibrillator implanted in his chest. It does two pretty amazing things. It can shock his heart back to a normal rhythm if necessary, and it can also transmit data on what's happening to his heart to a portable monitor that he keeps close at hand. That data is then sent to the cardiac care program in St. John's and monitored daily. For Herbert and his wife Lulu, it's meant a new lease on life. I can do a lot more walking and I feel more energy. And when I just had the two more there, I guess it, one side of my heart wasn't working and, and I couldn't do so much. I couldn't even walk down the backyard and walk back up again. Mm -hmm. But now I can run down there and run back. <laughs> Dr. Sean Connors is the cardiologist who implants the defibrillators in his patients. Since the service was introduced a year ago, close to 500 cardiac patients have had the procedure at Eastern Health, close to half the patients in the program. Dr. Connors says the benefits are enormous. It's improved access because as you can imagine with the geographical challenges we have in our provinces or in our province that patients that live very remotely from this hospital can have access to the service where in the past travel was very difficult but not only that the type of service we offer has improved in quality we believe because we've gone from one single observation when a patient comes to the clinic to being able to watch how their device performs almost on a daily basis. Every morning, authorized staff members in cardiac care open the files on the remote monitor patients and get a full report on any worrisome cardiac activity. At any time, staff can program the computer to monitor an individual for specified periods. It registers abnormalities and sends an alert, sometimes even before the patient realizes anything has happened. I look at this as here's a patient they don't even have a symptom or a complaint yet. We've discovered a problem. We've addressed it before the patient even knows. Now, where else does that ever happen in uh, healthcare? So we really feel lucky to be able to offer this service to our patients. Although we monitor them closely, what we have here in our virtual clinic is not a 911 service. If they feel unwell, they need to see their physician or go to the emergency room. That's always our overriding advice. Another clear benefit of the new service is that the physical clinic at the Health Sciences Center has more room and availability for patients who need to be seen face to face. We have patients from Nain, Happy Valley, Port of Basque, Corner Brook, the West Coast, Central Newfoundland, the East Coast, the entire province. Every one of those appointments can now be replaced with a patient to come into our clinic that needs to be seen by a cardiologist or by the pacemaker nurses. We are probably replacing a thousand inpatient appointments. For Herbert and Lulu Temple, the benefits are both simple and profound. The simple pleasure of enjoying their summer garden. The profound assurance of knowing Herbert's implanted cardiac device is ready to spring into action at a moment's notice, while also steadily feeding important information to his cardiac team. Once he got on the monitor, um, I'm not as, I, I, I guess I, uh, I sleep easier because um, I know someone else is watching them. And if anything goes wrong, the monitor is going to pick it up. It all lends new meaning to the phrase, home is where the heart is.